Have you ever wondered how to make your lessons more engaging, interactive, and student-centered? If so, you're not alone. Enter the world of inquiry-based learning, a teaching method that places students' questions, ideas, and observations at the core of the learning experience. This approach calls for a shift from traditional teaching methods, advocating for a more engaging, interactive, and learner-driven environment. So buckle up educators, because in the next few minutes, we'll unveil 10 tips to help you deliver a successful inquiry-based lesson. Tip number one, always start with a question. In the grand theater of learning, questions are the spotlight that illuminates the path to understanding. They provoke thought, trigger curiosity, and paint a vibrant picture of interest in the minds of students. Imagine walking into a science class, and the first thing you hear is, what do you think would happen if all the bees in the world suddenly disappeared? Now that's a question that will make you sit up and take notice. It's relevant, it's thought-provoking, and it's sure to kickstart an insightful discussion. Or consider a history lesson that begins with, what might have happened if the American Revolution had failed? A question like this invites students to think critically, to weigh the possible outcomes, and to actively engage with the subject matter. Starting a lesson with a question is like setting sail for a voyage of discovery. It's an invitation to embark on an intellectual adventure. Remember, a good question sparks curiosity and sets the stage for the entire lesson. Tip number two, encourage your students to ask questions. You see, an inquiry-based lesson thrives on curiosity, and nothing fuels curiosity like a good question. It's a stepping stone to exploration, a spark that ignites the flame of learning. But how do we create an environment where students feel comfortable to ask these questions? Start by responding positively to every question. Even the ones that seem off-topic can be redirected to the lesson at hand. And remember, there are no stupid questions. Ensure students know that their questions are valued and that their curiosity is a strength. Try using open-ended questions to stimulate deeper thinking. Questions like, what do you think might happen if, or how does this relate to, can encourage students to think critically and creatively. Another tip is to model curiosity yourself. Show your students that even as an educator, you're still learning, still asking questions. When students ask questions, they take ownership of their learning. Tip number three, use real world problems. There's a magic that happens when students see the connection between what they're learning and the world outside the classroom. Using real world problems in your lessons creates that bridge, making learning not just an academic activity, but a relevant and meaningful experience. It's like providing a map that shows how knowledge can be applied in real-life situations. Whether it's a math problem that involves grocery shopping or a science lesson about climate change, real-world problems make the subject matter come alive. They spark curiosity, foster engagement, and encourage students to think deeply. And there's an added benefit. Dealing with real-world problems helps students develop critical thinking skills. They learn to analyze, evaluate, and solve problems, abilities they will need long after they leave the classroom. Real-world problems not only make learning meaningful, but also help students build critical thinking skills. Tip number four, foster collaborative learning. When we dive into the realm of inquiry-based education, we find that the power of collaboration stands out as a jewel in the crown. Collaborative learning is not just about grouping students together and hoping for the best. It's about crafting an environment where each student feels heard, valued, and is motivated to contribute. Let's talk about organizing group work. It's vital to mix and match students based on their strengths and learning styles. This diversity fuels creativity and ensures that everyone brings something unique to the table. And managing group dynamics? It's an art. Encourage respectful disagreements, foster clear communication, and promote the sharing of ideas. This way you'll cultivate a safe space for exploration and discovery. Remember, the goal is to create a mini society within the classroom where students learn not just from you, but from each other as well. Collaborative learning enhances communication skills and promotes a deeper understanding of the subject matter. Tip number five, use technology wisely. Technology is a double-edged sword in the realm of education. When wielded correctly, it can transform classrooms into vibrant hubs of exploration and discovery. Inquiry-based learning specifically can significantly benefit from the smart use of technology. Imagine using augmented reality to explore the solar system or programming robots to solve real-world problems. These are not mere fantasies but achievable realities with today's tech. Even simpler tools like online research platforms can empower students to independently seek answers and deepen their understanding. Interactive software can facilitate collaborative learning, 
allowing students to share ideas and work together on projects. Digital storytelling tools can help students articulate their learning journey, fostering reflection and critical thinking. But remember, technology is not a panacea. It's a tool meant to enhance, not replace thoughtful instruction and active learning. The key is to use it wisely and purposefully, integrating it seamlessly into your lesson plans. When used wisely, technology can greatly enhance inquiry-based learning. Tip number six, provide guidance and support. As we delve into the complexities of inquiry-based learning, it's essential to remember the teacher's role as a guide and a supporter. This instructional approach places students at the helm of their learning journey, but they aren't expected to navigate the seas alone. Teachers play a crucial role in steering the ship, offering direction when needed, and stepping back when it's time for students to explore independently. Striking a balance between these two roles is a dance, an art form. It's about knowing when to step in with a helpful hint and when to let students grapple with a challenging problem. It's about providing scaffolding, then gradually removing it as students gain confidence and competence. Remember, learning is not a straight path. It's a journey with hills and valleys, twists and turns. Providing guidance and support along this journey is not about making it easy, it's about making it possible. Guidance and support are key to helping students navigate the learning process. Tip number seven, assess understanding continuously. One of the most effective ways to ensure successful inquiry-based learning is by keeping a finger on the pulse of your student's understanding. This isn't just about giving a quiz at the end of a lesson or unit. It's about incorporating ongoing formative assessment strategies into your teaching. Ask open-ended questions during class discussions. Encourage students to explain concepts in their own words. Use quick informal assessments like exit tickets or one-minute essays. Make observations during group work. All these methods can give you a real-time view of what students are grasping and where they might need extra help. Remember the goal of assessment isn't just to assign grades, it's to gain insight into your student's learning process, so you can tailor your instruction accordingly. This dynamic approach allows you to address misconceptions as they arise, rather than waiting until an end-of-unit test. Continuous assessment allows you to adjust your teaching strategies based on students' understanding. Tip number 8. Allow time for reflection. Reflection is an integral part of inquiry-based learning. A moment for students to process, analyze and understand the new information they've gathered. It's like the pause after a deep breath, giving them a chance to assimilate what they've learned and make sense of it all. Incorporating reflection time into your lessons might seem challenging, but it's simpler than you might think. You could prompt students with questions that encourage them to ponder on what they've learned, their challenges, and their successes. For instance, what did you learn today? Or what was the most challenging part of today's lesson? Another effective strategy is to create a quiet moment at the end of the lesson, a few minutes for students to jot down their thoughts, questions, or new ideas. This not only promotes self-awareness, but also fosters a deeper understanding of the material. Reflection helps students consolidate their learning and make connections between new and existing knowledge. Tip number nine, be flexible and adaptable. In the world of inquiry-based learning, adhering rigidly to a plan can be counterproductive. It's like trying to navigate a river with a map of a mountain. The terrain just doesn't match. Instead, you need to be like water flowing and adapting to the landscape of your student's curiosity. In this approach, the direction of the lesson is greatly influenced by students' responses and interests. This can lead to unexpected turns and detours, and that's okay. It's a journey of discovery after all. If students show a keen interest in a particular topic, don't be afraid to deviate from the plan and delve deeper. However, remember that flexibility doesn't mean aimlessness. You're still the guide, steering the lesson towards the learning objectives. It's a delicate balance, but one that can lead to profound learning experiences. Being flexible and adaptable allows you to respond to students' needs and interests. Tip number 10. Model a love for learning. As educators, our enthusiasm becomes contagious. Show your students that learning is not just a task, but a journey of discovery. Be curious, ask questions, and never stop learning yourself. Share your own learning experiences, the triumphs, and the challenges. This isn't about being the smartest in the room, but the most passionate, the most curious. When you model a love for learning, you inspire your students to become lifelong learners. To conclude, inquiry-based learning is a powerful teaching strategy. It's a journey that begins with a question, a spark of curiosity that leads to a quest for knowledge. Encouraging students to ask their own questions fuels this quest, making learning an exciting adventure.
Incorporating real-world problems into lessons grounds this adventure in reality, making knowledge more tangible and applicable. Collaborative learning adds an extra layer of richness, as students learn not just from you but also from each other. Technology when used wisely can be a powerful tool in this journey, opening up a world of information at our fingertips. But remember, guidance and support are crucial, as is continuous assessment of understanding. Allowing time for reflection lets students absorb and consolidate what they've learned, while flexibility and adaptability ensure that learning remains a dynamic, evolving process. Lastly, by modeling a love for learning, you light the way for your students. With these 10 tips in mind, you are now equipped to create a successful inquiry-based lesson that engages, challenges, and inspires your students.